Clyde Bragdon as fire chief in the early 80s, two hazardous material squads were placed into service in March 1982. One at Fire Station 87 in the City of Industry and the other at Fire Station 105 in the unincorporated community of Dominguez. And on February 12, 1983, Cindy Freilich Barbie became the first woman to complete the Recruit Academy, blazing the trail for others to follow, including Chris Linkletter, our first female lifeguard. In 1984, Chief Bragnan retired, making way for John W. England to become the new fire chief, appointed on September 24, 1984. Events and incidents during his tenure shaped and shifted the department's view on the health and wellness of its members. On August 31, 1986, Aeromexico Flight 498 collided with a small plane over Cerritos, killing everyone on both aircraft as well as 15 other people on the ground. Firefighters sought long-term help after what they experienced, leading to the early days of our critical incident stress management teams. It was also during his term that Chief England helped create the Family Support Group for Loved Ones Left Behind. The group still meets to this day and continues to reach out and assist grieving family members who lost a loved one in the line of duty. Another lasting legacy of this era is the Urban Search and Rescue, or USAR, program, created in response to the increased demand for specialized rescues throughout the county. Highly trained and exceptionally skilled USAR team members have been deployed locally, statewide, and nationally as part of the California Task Force II and internationally as part of USA2, one of two elite USAR teams representing the United States of America that provides rescue and humanitarian assistance worldwide. What the heck's going on here? Five o'clock Friday afternoon and nobody's here. And anybody work till six? That's unbelievable. When Chief John England retired, in came new fire chief, Paul Michael Freeman, otherwise known as P. Michael Freeman. Chief Freeman joined the department on February 13, 1989. He created our vision statement going forward, and he stood behind the department's six core values, integrity, teamwork, caring, courage, commitment, and community. <laughs> 